the seven levels of nicotine addiction. So let's jump right into this. So you're chilling at school, you go to the bathroom, and you see a couple of guys in there, you know, hitting some vapes or some shit, doing whatever the fuck they're doing in the bathroom. And one of them walks up to you like, hey, yo, bro, you want to rip this shit? Now, if you're anything like me, you're going to say yes to this question. So you start ripping this guy's shit, and you realize as you're hitting it, wow, this is disgusting. Why does it taste like this? And the main reason for it is because this guy had it for three months. So you exhale the vape, hand it back to the guy, and you're like, wow, I feel dizzy as fuck. Who would like this? And as you say that to yourself, you're like, damn, I kind of like this. Congratulations, you have gone through the steps of stage one. So eventually, you're going to work up the courage to buy your own vape. Whether it be at a vape shop, or somebody selling it to you. Now, the very moment you get your hands on a vape, you immediately go straight to stage two. So now that you got your vape, you're chilling in your room, and you decided to take a hit of your vape. In case if you've never vaped or smoked before, I'm going to try to give you an explanation of what it feels like. So you take a puff on your vape. Your head gets a little bit spinny and your body gets a little bit tingly. That lasts for about a good 10 seconds till you realize, oh, I want that feeling again. And the bullshit cycle continues. So now that you're, <clears throat> so now that you're casually filling your lungs up with aerosol every 10 minutes. Yes, it's aerosol. It's honestly disgusting that some of these vape companies had us thinking it was water vapor. With all that said and done, you are now moving on to stage three. So you've been casually vaping for about a good two days now, and you notice as you hit your vape, you can't really get that same buzz as you used to. This will most likely lead you to hit your vape more, that way you can get that same buzz again. And during this time, your vape will probably die. And you have two choices in the matter. Either you get another vape device, and continue on with the stages, or you're already seeing the cycle and decide to quit vaping. This is the stage that will decide if you have an addiction. Now assuming that you bought another vape, you will now move on to stage four. So in stage four, you hit your vape and you don't get a buzz anymore. Now that's fine and all, but the problem occurs when you don't hit your vape for a little while. You get this slight but noticeable feeling that you want to hit your vape. And if you give in to that feeling, you jump straight to stage seven. But if you don't give in to that feeling, you move on to stage five. So as time goes by, you start vaping more and more. And you start thinking to yourself, damn, this shit kind of sucks. So you start thinking about trying to quit. You're like, eh, I can do that whenever. I'm not addicted. Even though at this point, you're starting to think about getting a job just to support your non-addiction. So let's just assume you say, fuck this. I'm not getting a job just to vape. And you try to quit. That leads me on to stage six. You can quit. For free help, visit cdc.gov tips. So let's assume you go two days without vaping. After fighting the cravings and keeping it away, you just had a really garbage day. And you walk on home and you see your vape laying on the counter. And you think to yourself, damn, it's been a whole two days. I can get buzzed as fuck if I just hit that right now. And the moment you pick up and hit that vape, you're right on back to stage two. But for the very few people that successfully fight that urge, sadly, it's not over with. Every time you have a stressful or shitty day, you always think about it. You just think, oh, I can go buy a pack of cigarettes and relieve that stress. Or I can go buy a vape and relieve that stress. If you can fight that that urge, you have successfully quit vaping or smoking. But unfortunately for a lot of us, myself included, you have to have a really good mentality to do that. Now, assuming you've tried quitting and you're back vaping again, like a lot of us end up, you're going to be moving on to stage seven. <laughs> stage seven, you're vaping more than you ever have before. And the problem with stage seven is you just don't care. You've tried quitting, you can't do it. You're just accepting the fact that you're addicted now. Now, once you start actually seeing some of the side effects, you might actually start trying to quit again. But for a lot of us, it just seems like a waste of time. You spend a thousand, maybe even two thousand dollars every year on something that you don't enjoy and something that you wish you never started. And unfortunately, that is the vicious cycle of nicotine addiction. Hi, I'm Legit. If you enjoyed my content, please do me a favor and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading every week. And if you really like my content or personality, I guess, be sure to check out my gaming channel. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.